Hello everyone, welcome to another episode on events for Roblox scripting. So today, I'm going to be talking to you about disconnecting, or not listening, or stopping listening to events. Now this is useful in a lot of ways, especially when something happens that you no longer actually care um, about a certain event or you're about to get rid of an object so it's not even going to exist so you're wasting precious memory and adding lag to your game by continuing to listen to an event on an object that does not exist. Now a good analogy of this into the real world might be if you are a sports fan. So let's assume you're a sports fan even if you're not just hear me out. So. Your favorite team is in the playoffs, right? And so you are constantly checking updates every time there's a game, and you're watching every game, and you are paying attention to every little thing that happens for your team. Every event that occurs that determines how your team is doing in the playoffs of their sport. Now, you're just constantly listening to all events of all of the teams as well. And the reason for that is because you need to know what the other teams are doing, how they're doing, and because it might impact your team as time goes on. So you're just listening to this whole sport. You're listening to everything that's happening because your team has a chance of winning it all. Now let's take the sad example of your team making the playoffs, say they make it to the first or the second round, and then they lose and then they're no longer in the playoffs and let's say you don't care enough about the sport to continue listening to every event of every team because your team has unfortunately been eliminated you are no longer invested in listening to what is going on within the sports postseason because your team is out of the entire system so you disconnect. You disconnect yourself and your ears and your eyes from listening to this event, from listening to things about this sport, and you're just, you're done. Your team's out, you're, you're out. This is a good analogy because there are often times that you want to listen to an event and li make sure that like if something happens to something, you're aware of it and you handle it and you do something about it. However, at some point it might no longer matter. So you just stop listening. In this example that I've already set up and I'll go through the script after a quick example. If I press this green button then we're going to be paying attention every time I touch this white brick and it will change color randomly much like the last episode. However, if I touch the red button, if I step on the red button or the green button with my character, but this time if I step on the red button, I will stop listening to events of touching this white brick. So let's go ahead and just demo that. Here I am, I spawn on the white brick. You can see it doesn't change color as I jump on it, but then I jump off, I step on this green brick. We can look down here in the output, it says now listening for when the part is touched. So that's just a good confirmation that my script worked. So we jump off and we walk towards this white brick again. And now it is changing color every time any part of my Roblox character comes into contact with it. And it's changing color exactly like we'd expect it to do. Now we don't care anymore, all right? So we're gonna step on this red brick. Boom. We start touching this brick and we see it's no longer changing color. Again, if I touch the green brick, boom, it's working. Red brick. You can even see in the output, it says no longer listening for when the part is touched. And again, the brick doesn't change color. And we can just keep going through these scenarios, red brick, green brick, red brick, green brick, and it will continually stop listening or start listening depending on which brick we touch. If we look at the code for this, we can actually understand how this is working. So let's just quickly run through this. So at the top here, I have local part equals workspace.part, local listen equals workspace.listen. So part 
workspace dot part is the white brick the big tall white brick that would change color workspace dot listen is the green brick and then finally we have local ignore workspace dot ignore that was the red brick next we have this interesting local part connection equals nil so as I've talked about before, nil is essentially just nothing. So part connection is a variable we'll use later, but it's currently set to nil. Next up, we have this function change part color. So change part color, it does exactly as it, uh, it says. It just does part dot brick color equals some random brick color. It just randomly changes the brick color. Very similar to the code we had in the last video. After that, that's where things begin to get interesting. So we've got listen.touched connect function. Within this function, it listens. So first off, listen again is the green brick. So that every time I touch the green brick, it would start listening to touched events on the white or the well whatever color, but it started as a white brick, right? Then it at in this function for listen.touched, it asks, does the part connection already exist? If part connection, then return end. So if the part connection already exists, if it doesn't equal nil, then just return. It's already listening, so I'm not going to waste my time connecting again because that's just going to cause havoc. It's not good to be listening to the same event twice when you're handling it the same way both times. It's just a waste of time. It's redundant. So just if part connection exists, don't do anything, exit out of the function right away. However, if it doesn't exist, then we continue and we say part connection equals part dot touched connect. All right, so last video connect was lowercase with the C, but Roblox has since updated things. Um, and I'm kind of glad that I waited this long um, to tell you guys this video or show you guys this video. It's now a capital C. So anyway, part.touched connect. It works the exact same way, it's just semantics. And in these parentheses after connect, you see change part color. So that goes back up to our function change part color. In other words, every time part.touched fires, it's not going to handle its own function that's put within these two parentheses. Rather, what it's going to do is it's going to call the function change part color. Because what we're really doing is just like for this listen.touched connect, which I'm still using the old version of connect here. I apologize. For listen.touched connect, we're doing what's called an anonymous function. So it works the same way. It's just, it's not stored as a variable. However, for change part color, that is sort of stored as a variable. All right. So we're just giving it a function. It's basically the same thing, except a different way of doing it. Um, and it's useful in this circumstance because this way it's only written once. Then after that, we're just printing to the output that we're listening. And that's not too incredibly useful to teach. So then we go down to ignore.touched and connect. So again, we're asking, does the part connection exist? Except this time we're specifically asking, does it not exist? Because if it doesn't exist, there's nothing to disconnect. We're already not listening. It's a waste of time to stop listening. If, like, how do you stop listening if you're not listening? You know? So that just exits out right away. It's like, are we already listening? Yes. Okay. Then I'll continue. But if not, I'm just going to, I'm just going to chill. So it continues if the part connection exists. In other words, if we're already listening. So if the part connection does exist, it disconnects that connection. Notice that the disconnect isn't on part.touched. It's not on the event itself. It's on the connection itself. We're disconnecting the connection. Okay? So we're not disconnecting the event. We're disconnecting the connection. So disconnect is on that connection. So we do part connection disconnect. Then we set part, part connection equal to nil just because it works well. We don't need that connection anymore. It's disconnected. It's useless. So let's just, let's just set it to nil and get rid of it. And then again, we print no longer listening. Um, and that's just for the output, just to make life easy to understand how things are working. And so that is how the script works. Let's just go ahead and watch it in action 
one more time. And we touch this green part. It says, now listening for when the part is touched. Now let's look back. If I jump on this white part, or sorry, green part, and then look back at the output, it's still only printed it once. Okay, and that is because part connection already exists after the first time we've touched it. So every time we touch it again, it's just gonna be like, does the part connection exist? Yes, oh, well then just return. I don't need to continue, stop there. And so it doesn't connect it again. So now let's go ahead and move over and step on the red brick. Again, in the output, no longer listening for when the part is touched. Again, if I jump on the red brick, it doesn't say it again. It doesn't say no longer listening for when the part is touched again. And again, this is a lot of agains because I'm trying to just drive this point home. Again, that's because the part connection already doesn't exist by the time we've touched it once. So after we've touched it once, if we touch it over and over without touching the green brick again, it doesn't matter. And so if we go over and we touch this green brick again, now listening, no longer listen, now listening, and it's just going to keep repeating itself every time. So if we touch the green brick and then we go over and we touch this brick, it's gonna change color, red brick. Well, if I don't get disoriented, doesn't change color. It's a pretty simple script and hopefully a simple idea. You, could, you can just stop listening. You break the connection of the event to the handler and then you're done listening. And it's a wonderful thing. You really should pay attention to disconnecting all of your events because this is a huge source of lag in games. If you just make sure to disconnect when you no longer need to care, you'll save a lot of lag in your games and your players will have more fun. Thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you next time.